it was all clothes, shoes, and toys. There were absolutely no housewares. I ended up waiting there for three hours. Hey there, welcome back. If we haven't met yet, my name is Tiffany. I'm a Washington real estate agent who has a love for creating beautiful spaces on a budget. And one of my favorite ways to help do just that is by shopping at the Goodwill outlet or the Goodwill bins where you pay for items by the pound. My most recent trip there, when I walked in, it was all clothes, shoes, and toys. There were absolutely no housewares. I ended up waiting there for three hours and finally on the very last rotation of the day they brought out half a section of housewares. I was actually able to come away with quite a full haul. So I'll be showing you what I picked up that day. I'll show you what I did with any project pieces I found and as always in the end I'll share exactly how much I spent. Thank you so much for joining me here. Hope you enjoy. If you've never been here before the way this works is they bring out items in these big blue categories categorized bins. And as I said, they charge per pound. Every store is going to be different, but just for reference at our store, they're currently charging $1.29 per pound for housewares. And throughout the day, they take bins away and bring new ones in. So you just never know what you're going to find. Some days are just a lot better than others. I chose to view this day as a bit of a challenge to see what I could do with the limited amount of housewares. There was certainly nothing wrong with these coat hooks here, but I wanted to see if I could give them an updated look. At first glance, I thought these were Phillips screws, but when that wasn't working, I got to looking closer and I could see little lines inscribed between that plus, and that told me that these were in fact Posa Drive. So if you see those little lines between that plus, you'll need a Posa Drive bit. I wouldn't typically do this, but it was extremely cold outside this day, and I had recently read that citrus strip can be used indoors. So after opening a few windows and turning on the ventilation fan, I felt comfortable using this inside. To clean this off, I'm using dish soap, a 60 grit sanding sponge, and some water. Because this was made of press board, it didn't have that wood grain that I was hoping for. So I decided to try to create a bit of a wood grain look by brushing that wax on with a paintbrush. Thank you. 
here I wanted to see if I could do something with that design. The color scheme was not quite my style. So my first thought was to try to bleach this. It's possible I just had this too diluted and with more bleach, I could have successfully bleached this basket. But after about 30 minutes in the water, I decided it was time to move on to plan B. I also picked up these floating shelves. I loved the raw wood on these. Unfortunately, there were a couple of spots that had this really bright yellow tone. So I decided to do a tan or a beige wash on these. With any project you see on my channel here, remember that you can always customize it or tweak it. I know there are a lot of you out there that prefer a wider color palette than what I normally use. My hope here is that you can gain some inspiration, take the items that you find and personalize them to your liking. That is the beauty of DIY. My initial thought with these was to paint them and then distress them, but when I started painting, that paint wasn't really going into the details on the candlesticks, and I kind of loved it. It created this almost reverse distressed look, so I just decided to go with it. I wanted this plate to look aged and kind of distressed. Here I'm using my sander to try to make those edges look less perfect. Here I'm applying a mixture of Minwax Special Walnut and Dark Walnut Stain. I then applied a brown top coat finishing wax. I 
I picked up this basket this day. Our oldest daughter has an interest in gardening and growing things, and she's been asking me to pick up some planters for her. I believe these to be risers for a bed. I only found these two in the bins. I had my husband cut one of these down shorter so I would have varying heights. This shelf here was solid wood and I thought that wood was beautiful. Unfortunately, it was missing the bracket that would be required to hang it on the wall. So I'm gonna repurpose it. Here I'm using a wire brush to try to mimic this same aged wood look that is on the rest of the shelf by deepening the wood grain on these edges. I was excited to find a set here, but they were looking a little rough. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but I believe this is supposed to have ceramic inserts. I didn't see those anywhere in the bins.
Here I'm applying an iron acetate. And once again, topped it with the brown finishing wax. These leather straps came off of an old tote bag that I picked up at the Goodwill outlet. I'll be using these to either create ornaments or tags. is everything I picked up this day. Now, before we get to the grand total of what I spent, if you enjoyed this video, would you please do me a big favor and hit that thumbs up button? And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Now let's get to that grand total. Several of the items weighed over three pounds, so they charged me a flat fee of $3.39 for each of those. And for the other items, I paid $1.29 per pound. This brings my pre-tax total this day to $31.62. If you would like to see more videos like this, I'll have a playlist linked down in that description box for you, as well as all products and tools used in this video. I hope that you are feeling encouraged that you too can create beautiful spaces on a budget. Thank you so much for joining me here. I'll see you next time.